So very recently, Google changed its algorithm for cold emails. And uh, what really happened was this has created a massive disruption in the email marketing and cold email uh, you know, domains of people, right? So cold emails used to be one of the best, best ways to get clients. And they still are. It's just that the new policies adopted by Google and Yahoo, Zoho, and soon Microsoft probably will, will change cold emails forever. So to give you a hint, uh, Google recently has, uh, in fact, from Feb 1, 2024, they have implemented this policy where they mentioned that you need to have all your critical records set up properly, which is like DMARC, DKM, SPF, all those things, the security record should be set up properly. Second, your spam rate, if it goes beyond 0.3%, that's like three out of a thousand people. If they mark you as spam, then your deliverability will kind of suck. Right, so this has become a nuisance for cold emailers, and hence, uh, even uh, we are seeing a lot of issues with Google Workspace email IDs. Not that they are not performing; they are still performing well. Sometimes they are uh, logging out; they are throwing some error, uh, which is why I decided to try some other tools. Right, so depend on some other mail servers, so e where the emails are hosted privately, not with uh, still private. The emails are hosted in a different server as compared to Google and Microsoft. And this is where I came across two really awesome tools that you can use to start sending your cold emails, right? Now, this is going to be a little bit of an intermediate video. This is not for cold email beginners. Uh, but if you want to get started with cold email, this tool is probably one of the best out there to buy new email IDs and basically launch them at scale. Let me show you a demo of how this whole process works. Okay. So uh, MailHoge is something that I'm using. So this is it. Let me show you how to buy these domains and how to set up the whole cold emails infrastructure in minutes. Cool. Let me go ahead and buy some domains. So I'll, I'll just click on create domains and here I'll do auto generate. The best part about auto generate is that you can buy as many domains as you can. I already bought five, so I'll get five more. So 10 domains, 20 email IDs. Uh, I'll get 20 email IDs, not more than that. Sending uh, 25 emails per day. That's 500 emails per day is what I'll be sending. So not bad. That's a pretty good volume as well. So remoteclosers.com. This is the primary domain. And I'll generate some uh, domains here. Right? Now we got use remote closers, go remote closers. Uh, let's say I say get remote closers. Uh, not available. Go remote closes. <laughs> Let's see. Try. Okay, I think I have already gotten it. Higher. Okay. No. Man. <laughs> okay. So I, what I'll do is, I think. Uh, remote closers. remote I'll put like closers remote let's see if this works okay that also works <laughs> just remote closers okay anything uh, five domains are there I'll just click on next now we can uh, drive it to our main domain here so this is where all the domains will come to now dmark email is j at jayant party.com oh sorry not genpadi remote closers.com this is a separate domain that i built where all the dmark sort of records will get redirected to so i'll click on continue and there we go our main email i can be like com this would be the main thing This is for domain registration, by the way. You don't need. Uh, so this is only for registering the domain in this particular email ID. That's all. So 
so we'll go next next we'll go to checkout okay now here you will need your proper address and everything i have already published my address now we got the extra five domains here and in total i'll have 10 domains right here right now i can go ahead and set up mailboxes i can go to mailbox right and i can get uh you know this is something that we can go for 30 dollars per month for 10 mailboxes so i can go to 60 yeah because i got 10 more give me a minute yeah so normally i recommend i mean you can go for go up to like two four four uh, email ids per domain but i'm taking two here so for earlier i have taken 10 so that means two per domain so i got like 10 email ids so in this particular case what i can do is i can get two more so that means 10 more e email ids i'll be adding here so if i go to mailboxes and i click here i'll just make it 20 which is like 60 dollars per month and i'll subscribe now let's do this okay okay now it got now i got refreshed now i can click on create mailboxes right now what i can do is auto generate mailbox i don't need to take the headache so i recently got these two three four five five domains are selected i want two domains per email per domain per, two email ids per domain right this is it now i'll click on next name types can be predefined my own name jayant or i can put uh, let's say j this is something that i'll add right and then here i can add a signature so let's say first name last name i can just put co founder uh, remote closers okay and i can put my actually i'll duplicate this and i will go ahead and uh, check the signature of the one that i have already done so i have added my linkedin and youtube as well so normally people say don't add your um don't add links but when it is reputed link i think it is okay i have not seen like a much i don't I have not seen it go worse if you if it is if the email id is going to a very reputed um place like youtube and all are pretty reputed right so that should not be a problem so if it is going to your own website this might cause a trouble but linkedin and youtube is something like that's pretty good so now we are generating 10 mailboxes awesome now we got all these mailboxes done let me quickly see and refresh here if you have 20 mailboxes done and dusted or oh, let me click on create i think they will create this way okay done 20 of my mailboxes are all active right now right now best part about mailforge is they take care of the dkm dmark and whatnot everything all on their own so you don't have to worry about anything so this is where all you have to do is export 20 mailboxes i typically do it export to others i typically select instantly and they will give you like a csv file like this now for sending an email i have found out one of the best alternatives to instantly the alternative is called reachinbox.ai so it, they have i have believe they have literally copied instantly's infrastructure but nevertheless they are pretty good you know in terms of ui and the you know the warm up that they are doing uh, and i think reachinbox has um, has an lifetime deal going on right now yeah there you go see uh, it has a very nice lifetime deal going on right now i bought this 199 dollar thing where i can send up to 2 lakh 2.5 lakh emails and yeah now let me show you a demo of how i upload these email ids to reach inbox right so there we go now i'll just click on add new to and i'll drag and drop the 
mail forge mail id here directly and everything will be taken by default email first name last name what not everything so and you can click on upload so you will see the status of all the email ids okay so this is uh, working so you, you can see one by one it's all getting connected 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 so this is a very very good sign that it is working by the way if you see any error it will become like it will show error directly but i like what it's showing awesome there we go i think all of it is connected already so i can go to back to accounts now we can see 20 email ids and i think all the warm up is enabled yes randomly i'm checking now speaking of warm up what exactly is this thing called as warm up that i have been blabbering so right now we have bought a lot of domains right and bought up emails these are new and when we start cold emailing from these email ids uh, what happens is google or any of the senders might get triggered that oh this might be a spammy email id because a spammy website would do that right so what we need to do that we need to show the servers that our email is legit there are actual people interacting with an email so that means if i have to do a uh, have to do warm up in a manual way i'll probably send some email id emails to my friend ask my friends to reply i'll basically uh, reach out to my employees ask my employees to reply back so this is the whole process of warm up but it's very time consuming if you do it all by yourself so what i do personally i do both a mix of manual and an automated warm up what is a manual warm up i just get some fake gmail ids and send some emails to this new email id that i've created and reply back to the same email id that is manual but best part is automated warm up can also be done especially uh, in something like uh, reach inbox so in reach inbox they have this thing called as uh, you know warm up so here you can see how many emails that they have sent and this is all automated some ai driven warm up system that they have built you can also find this in instantly smart lead and what not not a lot of tools are doing this nowadays now what happens is when you warm up for a month uh, so i recommend for this particular sort of setup i recommend warming up for at least like a month to start seeing some good results some of my friends are doing it for 3 months as much as as high as that okay now when it comes to warming up for like a month the best part uh, about this is like it will have much better reputation typically i have seen any email id perform really well after like 3 months of uh, continuous warm up right so in our case what is happening is uh, will be warming up for like a month we'll keep it on automated warm up sometimes i'll do this manual warm up as well whenever i get time and by the end of a month we will have a very solid warm up ready now, this is the drawback of the cold email system that you have to wait for a month to start at least start the campaigns um alternatively if you wanted to go faster i would suggest go by google workspace microsoft office 365 anything but then again the tech setup becomes very complicated in such cases in this it's just done in 2 minutes and just have to wait for one month for similar so for such cases i recommend my clients and you as well uh, while the emails are getting warmed up you can get started with your outreach through linkedin and instagram as well so the first month you can do social media and that costs zero money right and while all this thing is on the side keep on warming up for your behalf and after a month what you can do is you can start sending cold emails in volume and this is where your biggest results will come so there we go folks uh this is the whole process that i have used to set up the cold email infrastructure for my cold emails if i have to show you the latest update in terms of status um let me show you this okay this is how the thing looks like almost all the domains are working well except this one for some reason uh okay this is working overall health is above eight i think one email got from spam and i have not sent the email ids yet the i have not started sending emails yet so i'll launch this whole email campaign uh from first of april and then i'll show you a full on demo of how reach inbox work right so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video